Oh my God, hello. <coughs> Happy Monday, friends. It's me, Katie Rubin. <laughs> Your friendly neighborhood, modern mystic, energy healer, divine light channel. What's going on with you? How the hell are you? How was your weekend? Did you have some fun? I hope you got out there and had some fun. I sure did. I just want to thank everybody, just everybody who was around this weekend at all. Everybody at Players by the Sea making Mary Poppins happen. Everybody at Greenlight Theater Company. Everybody in the cast and crew. Everybody at First Coast Comedy. Holy God, those people. How I love you, people. Everyone who came and celebrated my housewarming. Everyone who came to stand-up comedy class. I'm just filled with love getting to serve this community in this way. I just, I'm just so happy. Thank you for being who you are and letting me serve you in the ways I can. Namaste, bitches. Let's do your three card spread today, shall we? So <clears throat> this is, I had a couple of people ask me this week some stuff that I'll respond to in the following way. So I've trained uh, in three different energy healing systems, institutions, four years each, 12 years of professional training to learn how to do this thing called reading the Akashic Records, which is really a fancy way of saying tapping into consciousness at its highest vibrational frequency. Tapping into, you could say, the realm of consciousness from which truth arises, capital T. So what does truth mean? This is a huge conversation we could talk about forever. Everybody out there in the marketplace is trying to sell you on the idea that they have truth, at least in the spirituality, consciousness, healing marketplace. So how can you ever trust whether somebody's capital T truth is actually capital T truth or just some shit they're selling you? My point of view is you have to let it you have to listen to it, let it come into your system and see how it lands. Does it feel like truth? Does a person talking to you seem authentic? Have they trained? Have they studied? Have they spent 12 years in training? Has their whole life been the process of becoming a mystic energy healer even outside of the training? Or are they some, sorry to offend some people, 22 year old who like went to a Reiki class once and decided they're a healer now? Careful! There's a lot of those out there. So anyway, it's about you and it's about you feeling into, do I resonate with this person? Do I resonate with this content? Does it read? And then look into them, please. Don't just blindly follow people. Don't just blindly follow my ass. Look into me. Go to katierubin.com. Check out what's up. Email me, klrubin at gmail.com. I'll tell you all about my training. Anyway, this is legitimate stuff I do. I've spent 25 years training in this field and it's very real. I had somebody like speak very diminutively recently about calling me a fortune teller. And I was like, boy, howdy. Way to diminish 25 years of training, you fucker. So I'm a legitimate person who does legitimate things. And I'd like you to check that out for yourself. Okay, look at where I've studied, look at who I've trained under. And if not me, look at where the people you're listening to have studied and trained. It matters who you're listening to. Just because somebody sounds confident on the internet doesn't mean they fucking know anything. All right, that's my little uh, TED talk on that. Here's your three card spread for the week. What I've done is I've opened the Akashic Records of the group of people who will see this video and benefit from it. That's you if you're watching this and if your heart is open and if you resonate with this stuff. I've um, shuffled the deck, I've listened, I've gotten the psychic awareness of when to stop shuffling and here are your cards. I love you, Christina McBurney Maz. Thank you for saying that. Okay, here's your recent past card. We have the sacred pool. It's a very, very sweet and deep card. We'll talk about it. In the present moment, we have the bone collector, <clears throat> which I'm pretty sure we had last time we pulled this as well, which is very interesting. And the outcome card, once again, is this solitude card, which isn't about you're going to be lonely forever and no humans will be with you and sadness. It's not about that. We're going to talk about what it is about. I have to keep this dog ugh, balanced on my lap. She's slipping, you guys, because I'm, she's, it's, ugh, it's a whole thing. I'm on a tall chair so I can sit at my island in my kitchen, but then that means the dog doesn't have the kind of lap square footage that she's used to, this is a real problem. We're gonna work it out. My desk hasn't arrived for my new office yet, so I'm just like makeshift taping these for you guys. Okay, sacred pool in the recent past. Let's hear what Colette Baron reeds words are about it and I'll tell you whatever channeled insight I get about it for you. 
let's look at the image, right? <clears throat> so here's this woman floating on her back, very ethereal image in a pond of beauty, sacred pool. And she, I sort of interpret it like she's breathing and that's her spiritual connection coming through her breath there in that smoke that you can see. And I love how there's a butterfly landing on a sort of reed above her breath, really beautiful. The world is a reflection of your thoughts, feelings, and beliefs. Embody the love you wish to see in the world. <clears throat> when you look into the mirror, do you like what you see? This card asks that you focus on self-love and self-esteem. Reflect by the sacred pool and be at peace with yourself. A detached self-examination made with rigorous honesty is called for now. Can you see how far you've come and how magical your life is? Do you notice the spark of the divine shining through your eyes? When you're conscious that you're the embodiment of spirit, it becomes easier to act in good conscience. Then you'll reap the greatest rewards. Your unique service to the world is not only needed, but celebrated. See the love within you and know that if you cast it upon the waters, it will return to you tenfold. Be at peace, for you are beautiful and loved. Act with surety and confidence and success shall be yours, whatever your inquiry. A little phrase at the top of this says, the world is a reflection of your thoughts, <coughs> excuse me, feelings and beliefs. My allergies are acting up. Embody the love you wish to see in the world. I love the questions she poses here. Can you see how far you've come and how magical your life is? <coughs> Do you notice the spark of the divine shining through your eyes? When you're conscious that you're the embodiment of spirit, it becomes easier to act in good conscience. Then you'll reap the greatest rewards. So what I hear in this card, because it's in the recent past position, is that something in your recent past has had you looking into questions of this nature. You know, it's had you reflecting on yourself. It's had you reflecting on your journey. It's had you considering your, your place in this world. Do you see yourself as holy and sacred? Do you understand? And are you conscious of the fact that you're the embodiment of spirit? Have you maybe been exploring that in the recent past? And I love this chunk. Your unique service to the world is not only needed, but celebrated. See the love within you and know that if you cast it upon the waters, it will return to you tenfold. Be at peace for you are beautiful and loved. Act with surety and confidence and success shall be yours, whatever your inquiry. This is the recent past. Let's bring you to the present moment, okay? The present moment is the bone collector. Part of why I want to jump right to it is because the relationship between these two cards is interesting in this spread. Let's read it and then I'll say more about that. <clears throat> you are whole and have everything you need within. When the bone collector appears, she's asking you to look closely at your circumstances to see if you're fully present or if you're reacting out of past conditioning and unconscious expectations. Whenever we're wounded, especially when we're young, it's as if something essential is stolen from us. We adapt and accept a version of the truth that then sets us up to behave a certain way in the future when faced with a situation similar to the original event. What we know about ourselves thus becomes influenced by a perception of limitation. A shorthand way of reframing what she just said is that when you have pain in the past, you believe, like when you're a child and difficult things happen to you, you believe negative ideas about yourself because of the difficult things that happened to you. It's called surviving your reality. Then you carry those beliefs into your adult life. You may be able to act above them or act beyond them, but you still carry them in your heart. So this card reminds us like, hey, now is a moment, because it's in your present moment position. <clears throat> now is a moment to examine what negative beliefs are you holding from your wounded past? What limiting ideas do you carry and believe are real from your wounded past? By the way, everybody has wounds from the past. Everybody. Some are big, some are medium sized, and some are teeny tiny. But you've got them because you're alive. That's how human reality works. You may feel unworthy or without courage. You may see yourself as flawed or unlovable or expect to be criticized. 
The bone collector reminds you that the truth is that you are a powerful being with limitless possibilities. She has kept safe what was stolen from you in the wounding and is here for you as you reclaim it now. Look at this. The bone collector has kept safe what was stolen from you in the wounding and is here for you as you reclaim it now, that which was kept safe. You have everything you believe you lack. You have everything you believe you lack. You already have everything you believe you lack. And the bone collector is your inner resource. Act as if you have what you need and you'll find you have it after all. We did have this card in our last reading. I'm so, so in love with how consciousness works. I, you guys, this is not just a three card spread I just pulled willy nilly. I, open, I take time, I meditate, I open the Akashic records of you, the group of people who will see this and benefit from it. The ones who will listen and receive, the ones that this is for. I don't know who you are, I never know. This is just for you because you're here and you're watching and you're open to it. The fact that there are these repeat cards week to week, it's just so amazing to me. Because if you think about it, if you do a three card spread on Monday and then another on Friday, how much will you have actually changed between Monday and Friday? You need consistency in the message sometimes over time because life works like that. We're going through cycles, right? You might be in a cycle of learning a particular set of things right now. So you need to hear the same shit over and over for a minute and consciousness knows that and delivers it to you. It's amazing, okay. You have everything you believe you lack and the bone collector is your inner resource act as if you have what you need and you'll find that you have it after all. Anything is possible with awareness. The wounds of the past need not define you. I have some things to say about that. So a minute ago, remember I was saying, you can act as if, and yet still discover later that you're carrying wounds. Like maybe you've survived and you've acted past your wounding, but you know that it's still there. For me, that's when your healing work comes in. That's when you need a therapist or a somatic body worker or an energy healer or whatever you need. katierubin.com, I'm always available for you if you're looking for some energy healing. There's plenty of healers out there. Just make sure they've studied and they know what the fuck they're doing. <clears throat> um, that being said, one thing that my students and my clients get incorrect a lot is they think they have to do all their healing work before they can take action today on what they'd like their life to be. That's not true. You could create the life you'd like to create right the fuck now, injured or not. Now, the challenge of creating it from an injured place that's like super duper injured is that built into whatever you create from the very injured place will be the frequency of your injury. That's not bad and wrong. It's just something to be aware of. So if you're aware of what your injuries are <clears throat> and what your wounding is, you can create beyond it now. You don't have to heal every single piece of everything that ever happened to you before you take action. And it's great to do so because then the frequency from which you're operating is a very high, high vibrational frequency or a consciously aware frequency. And then you're not going to create more wreckage in your present and in your future. When you don't do your healing work and your integration work and your processing work or go to therapy or however you're going to do it, when you don't do your EFT or your EMDR work, you walk into the situations in your life carrying the baggage of your history with you and people read that on you. It reads, it emanates from you. That's not because you're a big fuck up loser. That's because that's how nature works. Think of it this way. Let's say um, somebody chops an ax into a tree in the middle of a forest, like injures the tree a bunch of dirt and wind blows into that chopped open place. Um, the tree gets an abscess on it. This happens in nature. The tree dies. Now you're walking through the forest and you pass this tree and you see the tree and it looks sad and bent over and injured. You feel bad for the tree. That is a very different relationship you're gonna have with that tree than if the tree never got chopped and never collected dust and dirt and wind. If the tree was just upright and living its best life, you would walk by that tree and feel a very different, you wouldn't feel sad. You'd feel like, wow, what a glorious, amazing tree. That's what's happening with us when we walk through our lives. People perceive through us, emanating off of us and out of us, the injuries we carry. They perceive it. They don't 
not most people can't translate into words or ideas what they're perceiving. They feel it in their body, they have a sense of it, but they can't translate it into words. I can, because that's my whole damn job in this life, but it, it, that the point is not that they can, that everyone can translate it into words and understand mentally what's happening. The point is they are responding to you and reacting to you from the frequencies you carry. That's why your healing work matters and you have to do it. A lot of people come to me in my business and they say, why can't I manifest this or actualize that or da da da? And it's because they're not living at the frequency of consciousness that would call to it the thing they desire. Now, coming back to your reading, this bone collector card is saying, first of all, let's look at this. The recent past says, do you get how amazing you are? Have you reflected by the sacred pool? Can you see how far you've come? Do you know that you're a beacon of light and love? Get out there and be that. And in the present moment, the bone collector is saying, act as if you have everything you need and you'll have, and you find you do. All of that is true alongside of what I just said. They're both true. So my point is, you don't have to be perfect <clears throat> to start taking action today to get the life you're trying to have. And, and as you're taking steps toward what you desire, when you find roadblocks, the roadblocks are always, 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 100% of the time, a reflection to you from the universe of something inside of you that needs integration or healing or processing or grieving. So we're not meant to sit at home, heal everything, and then go live our lives, nor are we meant to just bulldoze through with no awareness of what the fuck we're carrying. It's a little bit of both. You take a step, you do a piece of healing. You move forward, you do a piece of healing. You take a step, you do a piece of healing. They're both required. All right. Now, coming back to your spread, the outcome is the solitude card. <clears throat> I just got hit by a wave of hunger. I'm ready for breakfast, you guys. It's noon noon. That's how I roll. I'm never hungry in the mornings, but I am by noon. I'm gonna eat as soon as I'm done with this shit. You ready? Meditation is required when you receive the solitude card as a sign. <clears throat> Empty your mind of superfluous thoughts and allow stillness to flow through your whole being. <clears throat> this is not an advantageous time. By the way, this is the outcome card. So this is like the moment tomorrow, the next day, this, this coming week. <clears throat> this is not an advantageous time to ask questions or push forward in any way. Rather, it's a period for conscious retreat. What's called for now is to step back and take your focus off of your life and your troubles. You'll be surprised by how many things sort themselves out once you've replenished your energy by means of a much needed rest and time out. Okay, so it's not forever. It's just the coming around the corner outcome of this three card spread. So the cards are saying, have you taken stock of how awesome you are? Have you, have you remembered that you are a beacon of light and love? If so, cool. Act as if you have everything you need and you'll discover you have it. And the outcome is, and then take a minute to meditate, retreat, rest in your life. Don't plunge forward into the next actions. You need to like internalize, take a breath. This could be for five minutes or for five hours or for two days. It's not forever. It's just this short little reading. This is why, you guys, I started to do readings twice a week and why, by the way, if you join my subscription series, you get a reading and an energy healing at the beginning of the month and the end of the month, half an hour each time, a video sent directly to your inbox. It's only 99 bucks, which is a very, very affordable way to work with me and get the energy healing that you're looking for. But the reason I do it at the beginning of the week and the end of the week <clears throat> and the beginning of the month for my subscribers and the end of the month is because things are changing all the time. And it's like, I feel irresponsible just putting out a Monday read and then not touching back with you about where we're at now on Friday. Things change all the time. And we don't wanna, sometimes for myself, if I hear somebody I admire do a reading, I can like hear that reading in my head running for like three weeks. And I'm like, is it over? Did that happen? Are we done with that? <clears throat> so for me as a person delivering this kind of content, I wanna give you updates because shit changes. <laughs> anyway, I love you guys. Take a little breath, do some meditating, take some time out so that everything you're learning and remembering about yourself and acting as if about can cement itself into your heart. You deserve it. You've been working hard. Everybody gets to rest and med meditate and recoup their energy. You gotta do it. 
Think about how the seasons operate, right? We don't just have spring, 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 spring. We have spring, summer, fall, winter. And in the fall and the winter, we go inside and we meditate and rejuvenate our energy in preparation for the spring and the summer. So let, let yourself have a few fall and winter moments this coming week. Um, all right, you can join my subscription series, katierubin.com. It's so damn cheap, you guys. If you want to actually do some trauma healing and some processing in an affordable way, twice a fucking month, go to katierubin.com and just book your $99 thing, and every month you'll get two energy healings and readings from me. Um, if you're needing a human design reading to understand how the vehicle of you operates correctly in time space, katierubin.com, book any private session with me. They all cost the same. So just book whatever and then message me that you're looking, cause you'll get an email from me and then you'll schedule and blah, blah, blah. it all happens through the system. Let's, let's read your human design so you can understand how to best make decisions for yourself. What is the truth of you and what is the distraction? You ever get confused? Human design answers that for you in a very individualized way for yourself. If you need trauma healing, join one of my energy healing classes, Star Beings, my Oma Pittsburgh class, um, or hop on into a private session. My God, I have so many classes running. Um, we just started stand-up comedy writing last night. It was the most fulfilling stand-up comedy class I've ever taught, frankly. I just love this group of people. Thank you all for being there. Um, you could join us a week late in person, if you like, here in Northern Florida. Let me know if you have questions about that. Two shows for you to consider. Stand up, I have a stand-up comedy show with two nationally touring headliners coming in. I'm sorry, three nationally touring headliners. Our host, Marcus Crespo, is a nationally tour touring headliner who's generously hosting for us. Uh, 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 Nathan, no, Ross Paget words, is our headliner. He tours all over the country and is hilarious, and he's our headliner. Donald Evans is our feature. It's going to be amazing. Go to firstcoastcomedy.com. No, don't do that. You want the Eventbrite link for that. I forgot where the tickets are for this. I'll post that in the words attached to this video. It's on Eventbrite. It's called the best stand-up comedy show ever because I'm very humble. That's uh, this coming Sunday at 7.30 in Northern Florida. Um, and then Epic Love, my storytelling show, is happening at Theater Jacksonville February 5th, which is the following Sunday at 7.30. So check out Theater Jacksonville um, for tickets and information about that. We'll also put a link in the words attached to this video to that. So I love you guys very much. Take good care of yourselves and have a great